Welcome back to my YouTube channel SKS Education. Today I am going to teach you about Darwin software which is used for genetic analysis using SSR mark. First work what we have to do is to make our data file. So that data file can be used for analyzing in Darwin software. So here we go to see how we can score the band SSR band. So this is a one gel picture which shows that there are a total five plants or germplasts which was used to see the polymorphism using the SSR marker one. So you can see this plant number two and three showing the similar type of the band with SSR one and plant four showing different band. You can see 663 base pair and 380 base pair. But in case of the plant five, it shows both the band. So such type of the band is called heterozygous plants or heterozygous band let's say 2 and 3 is a dominant allele so we can say it's capital A capital A and the fourth plant we can say it is a recessive allele let's say a small a so the fifth plant is capital A small a that is called heterozygous plant now we will see how to score this type of the band in excel sheet so let's go to excel sheet I have already scored my data in the excel sheet I will show you how to score so this left hand side is the column for genotype where you can write all the varieties what you want to analyze I have total 36 different plants then I have used nearly 51 SSR marker I have this 51 SSR marker list I have used this SSR marker for genetic analysis of my plants so this is how we can do gen genetic diversity. So for that, this is SSR1, two column for each SSR marker. Two column for each SSR marker. Why? Because each SSR marker is used for analyzing the allelic variation. Because it will show the allelic variation. So let's see the term plus one. It show both the band, 180 base pair, 180 base pair, because it is homozygous. Then gem plus two also show 180 and 180 base pair. Similarly, you can see the jump plus 5, it's 190, 190 base pair. This base pair differ from 180. So this is homozygous, this is also homozygous. But if you see the jump plus 4, it's so heterozygous condition like 180 base pair and 190 base pair. So like that, we can score the heterozygous as well as homozygous plant. So this is the way that how to score our data in Excel file. So like that, I have scored all my SSR marker with all my germ plus or my varieties. Now, for analyzing in the Darwin, what we can do, we can simply score all my data like this and now convert it into TXT file. So for that, you have to use the lower version of Excel always. And here, in save as type, you can convert it into tab delimit file dot txt and save as some name let's say it is one i have saved it in my desktop now it will show so many pop-up files so always say okay and s after saving don't forget to close the excel file it again so save as again you can save as yes replace it yes yes and close if you will not close the excel file your darwin software will not work properly so now let's start your darwin software here you can import your txt file here you can see i have this txt file saved in desktop now i have to import that txt file in my software now in the darwin go to import data matrix where from the desktop you can select this file txt file and open after that you can save as it to some another name dot var in the desktop it is allelic data because it's a ssr marker now you can see that all the data is able to read by my software and it is display that how the data is there it means Darwin software is able to read my data and now we are ready to do analysis. I have already explained how to do analysis, how to make dendrogram and how to make PCA in my earlier YouTube video.
थैंक यू वेरी मच